the exorbitant sale of mineral exploration licenses by speculators holding the certificates has in actual sense slowed down foreign capital investments into the lucrative sector in Uganda. It's not appropriate to turn around and try to sell some of these licenses for hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions. It's, it's, it's pretty much uh, not, not appropriate. Uh, serious companies that um, are serious <laughs> would not appreciate uh, this sort of valuations. The Uganda Chamber of Mines and Petroleum has repeatedly amplified this concern on speculative license holders within the mineral sector, warning that it is ruining confidence in the fledging industry. We want to give a report on what we are going to do with those frozen assets of Uganda, which are in the hands of a few speculators. 800 of them. That question must be observed and answered. These concerns have been raised at the 8th Annual Mineral Wealth Conference 2019 that has kicked off in Kampala this morning. Robert Kasandi, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Energy, says action is being taken. What we're going to do is to, yes, those who are holding many licenses have them now, but we're going to migrate them into the system. And you must play by the rules on how you keep that license. That is how we are going to regulate and ensure that the people holding these licenses are working. Uganda's mining law is currently under review with calls by the ministry that local actors in this intensive trade should consider partnerships for capital, technology and revenue. The reason it is because we have seen the omissions and commissions in the law we are using now. And when we are doing that, we want to bring in the investor friendly laws. This year's Mineral Wealth Conference is under the theme creating an enabling environment for mining in Uganda. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.